have here on my bench a few of these old steering locks and I consider this one of the, the big frustrations of owning one of these older 1972 to 1995 Mercedes. Mercedes did not want their cars to get stolen. So they came up with a steering lock and ignition lock assembly that would make it almost impossible. You know, you see these movies where guys get into the dash and they rip the wires out and they spark them. Again. <laughs> and it's gonna happen with these old Mercedes. But these cars are getting old and these are wearing out. And I have to do every year, I do a yearly warning about steering lock assemblies. And this includes, the part here you see is the steering lock. This is the tumbler assembly with the key, and on the back is the electrical switch. So any one of these three can cause problems, making it hard to turn your key. And we get a lot of emails. People say, hey, my key's sticking. Well, as soon as it starts sticking, you better do something about it, because if you let it go and it gets stuck with the key on or the key off, I tell you, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a big wrench dance. So these are all steering lock assemblies out of 90 to 95 models. And I'm going to show you a few examples. One of the problems we're seeing is a lack of quality control. Not only the lack of availability, but if you can get it, the lack of quality control. I feel sorry for people who go out, you know, they go on to eBay or they go on some website and they buy a steering lock and then they buy the key and then they buy this. And then they start putting it together <laughs> and this is what can happen. You know, they turn it like that, and then they try to turn it back. Uh-oh. It won't turn back, and this is happening more and more. They'll put everything together, turn the key, and this will lock up. You notice I don't have the black cap on here. If I had the black cap on here, I'd have to get my grinder out and cut the cap off. But fortunately, I'll be able to get it. This is going to be easy, but I can get in here and get this fixed, but when it locks up like this, see, and you can't turn it, um, you can't move the car, you can't, you, you can't get the steering lock out of the column, unless you can turn the key, it becomes very difficult to even repair this or replace it. Well, first off, I want to show you what it should look like and what it should work like, okay? You pull the key out. And this is sitting at rest, and you have the steering lock that goes into the steering column that prevents you from turning the wheel. You may be able to turn the wheel, but eventually this will drop into the, uh, the cog and the, in the shaft and it'll lock the steering. When you insert the key and turn it on, look what happens to the steering lock. Okay, it releases. Now you can turn the steering wheel. Now you can start the car. And when you release the key, watch what happens. You turn the key all the way off. See? Steering lock is not locking. It shouldn't be locking with the key still in if you've just turned the key off. That'll allow you to move the steering wheel or whatever. But as soon as you pull the key out, watch what happens. And you hear this nice snap, okay? There's your lock pin. It's come out and it's engaged the steering lock. Now let's take a look at this one. Let's say you bought these parts from some place, you put them together, and you go, oh, look, I'm going to turn the key off. Look at that. The lock's coming out even before I pull the key out. So there's something weird about that one. Then I'm taking this one over here, and it's really hard to turn. It doesn't feel good. It's kind of notchy and sticking. What's going wrong here? These are all brand new parts. Let me tell you what we have to do when we get these. Every single tumbler assembly and every single steering lock, we have to take them apart. We have to make adjustments. We have to lubricate them properly because a lot of things are not lubricated. And some of the tumbler assemblies we have to reject because they're not doing the right thing. See, that one is, something's wrong there because that pin's coming out. And people often will say, Kent, I bought this new tumbler from you. I bought this new key. I put it in. It's still stuck. Well, you have to understand 2024, okay? These are all at least 30 years old or older. And the problem is not the switch, although the switch can wear out. It's not the key and tumbler. 
It's what's going on inside here where that mechanism turns and moves this pin back and forth. And you'd be surprised to learn as we've worked on these things, you know what wears these out? Let me show you what wears these out. Not only does it wear the, the tumbler out, but it wears out this mechanism right in here. This is what wears them out. You, you see that snap? That bang, 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 bang over years of that lock snapping out is what wears this out internally. And you can take the key out very slowly. And it's not going to make any difference. So you have to make sure these are lubricated properly for long life. But most importantly, <laughs> you have to make sure you're buying these from the right person who has actually tested them. Nobody's testing these. Nobody's putting them apart. So what we've had to do, because there's so many problems, when you buy a steering lock assembly from us, it's all complete. We won't sell you just a lock. We still sell tumblers, but we try to warn you that 50% of the time the lock's going to be bad. So we sell this as a complete unit with a steering lock, the tumbler and key assembly, and the new cap on. You can purchase the electrical switch separately. That's usually the last thing it can go. But if you're turning your key like this and it's kind of jamming up and not springing back, that could be a really good indication that this switch back here is also worn out. So word to the wise, if your old Mercedes key is starting to stick, you better fix it. And you also better be really careful where you buy the replacement parts.